Yeah, so I um, am leading the project which is called Uport, which is a digital identity uh, project. We have started two years ago and we are a team of 25 now. Um, yeah, so that's like how we started. So I think identity is an extremely important component in this whole ecosystem. So within blockchain, you need to have an identity to interact with smart contracts. Like you need to have a reputation because a lot of the use cases um, depend on like that you trust that the other person is like a reliable party. So if you do an Uber on the blockchain, you need to know that you can trust that this is like a, um, a person with a good reputation. But Identity is way bigger, so I think everything we do online in a digital form, you have identity for every account. So the internet was created without identity it built in, so we are now building an identity system which can be used on all digital services, as well as like online, as well as in the in the real world. And I think the it's so broad, whether it's like logging in, whether it's the data you have and you want to share. Um, today, everything is just a PDF or like a file or something else but there is no verification in it so I think the making digital identity with cryptographic proof it's so much more reliable it's so much more safer and I think will change fundamentally how we act online as well as uh, with other services banking banks and so on Yeah, that's a very good question. I think at the moment we spend a lot of time still on standardizing how um, identities across different blockchains can communicate with each other because I don't believe there will be like one like one identity system and that will like everybody will have that one. It's more like email, like there are multiple email providers and multiple email clients and they all work together well. And I think the, the fundamentals is like that we get this right and that's where a lot of people are working on now and that's happening already. So there's a lot of startups and big and small companies working on this. Um, the impact I think will be in the beginning maybe on educational things where people get certified and you can improve this that you actually work at this company you actually have this degree um, I think there's a lot of opportunities in with your personal data where a bank can attest that I am have an account I'm older than 18 and I can go somewhere and can just prove this because if I have this from three or four different entities or from different companies it's a very strong um, confirmation it's way better than using a utility bill to prove that I live in New York City that's like everybody can fake this it's just like we're we're depending on so many like old, outdated ways to identify yourself. And because you can do way better privacy around this, so like if you go to a bar, you always show your address. Why do you need this? You just need to confirm that you're older than 21 in the United States. So there's a lot of things where we don't know which one is the first one which will take off, but I think there's a lot of like different use cases people are really excited about. So for me personally, it's less about the specific uh, talks. I think it's really like meet people in that space. I, I live in New York, so it's great to see people here from all over the place, in particular obviously like in Germany, to understand what people think, where they are, like in terms of the what's the mindset here, what technologies are people excited about, what's the community. So that was the great thing. In, in parallel in Paris is this um, SCC conference. It's a lot of very technical conversations, but I, I really enjoy have a very different audience around us here and I like, have very different conversations, so that's what I really like. So I think um, the interesting part with blockchain is that whilst in the beginning and what you, what you hear I think in the German press is a lot about like Bitcoin and, and how much this is a scam, I think what we need to um, do is we need to change the perception of what blockchain is. It's not just for asset transfer, it has so much more opportunities to like, solve problems and I think to get people from very different um, backgrounds into this conversation will be just very very valuable. So whether it's business or whether it's um, people from like 
academia, academia. Um, I think all the like print very different perspectives on the certain problems. So I think diversity generally is a very good thing. Just having technologists talking about technology is not really like solving problems. It's really getting this discussion going and and put some more let's say structure and like maybe mathematical proofs on like some of the things will make it way more um, let's say trustworthy. I think if people get actually some universities to say like yes we have validated this I think that creates a lot of I think um, trust and I think trust that people believe this is just not just a technology but actually something which can work uh, will be very important for the long-term success.